Now, there is growing anger in some quarters about the government's lack of action following a highly critical report in July, which found that thousands of women and their families had been harmed by three separate treatments, the epilepsy drug, sodium valproate, the pregnancy test, Primodos, and vaginal mesh treatment. Uh, Baroness Cumberidge chaired that review, and she told the House of Lords today that she was haunted by the testimonies of the families affected. Our health correspondent, Sophie Hutchinson, has the story. It's been a slow and painful journey for women harmed by the treatments they were given. In July, the government in England promised action following a hard-hitting report. But now there's growing anger and frustration. Nothing at all has been done. That's how I feel. We're not important. The report, which investigated vaginal mesh, the historic home pregnancy test Primados and the epilepsy drug sodium valproate, made nine recommendations for improving safety and supporting what are believed to be tens of thousands of women and their children who've been harmed, like Joe Cousins, whose son has autism from sodium valproate. Um, we were all very excited with the recommendations that the Baroness put forward to have our hopes completely shattered because nothing at all has been done. Nothing. You know, we're still hanging on, not knowing what's going to happen to our children's futures. None of the report's recommendations have been implemented in England, apart from an apology. Mary Lyon, who took Primados while pregnant and whose daughter was born with a shortened arm, is furious. And it's very easy to say, I'm really sorry, and this is dreadful. Do something about it. Take some action. Show us what it is that you're willing to actually do to make things right. Today in the Lords, Lady Cumberledge raised concerns her recommendations were being buried. Rumours are absolutely rife of a ritual burial. This is your opportunity to give an assurance that this report will be implemented Please can the families who have been so tragically harmed have that assurance. Yeah. Scotland has just announced it'll bring in a patient safety commissioner, the report's main recommendation. The government in England says it's still considering what to do. Sophie Hutchinson, BBC News.